Hey, welcome to this, ep this week's episode of Days of Pain and Victory. We're in the SEMA. Dude, can you believe it? I cannot believe it. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna bring you guys along, show you everything that we can see. We're not gonna see it all, but uh, I don't think you can see it all in four days. So no. uh, stay tuned for uh, action packed and uh, wild ride. So uh, we have no idea what we're in for. So uh, welcome along. Smooth talked our way past the security guard. Oh, look at this panel truck. That's pretty cool. All right, don't have time to look at stuff right now. Day one at SEMA. It's just all about taking it all in. Yeah, right? we're trying to get a lay of the land. Yeah. We're gonna try to film as much as possible, but also we're trying to see as much as possible, which don't always go hand in hand. Yeah. So we're outside, uh, gonna check out all the big old lifted trucks and some of the hot rods and stuff. So that should be pretty cool. And uh, hoping to get a ride in a drift car. Yeah. Oh, dude, spring tools. These guys are out of Spokane. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I use these guys. I, I use these guys. It's like we have a spring tool. We're going to build a, a blazer. We have a nail set. Let's build a blazer. That's awesome. I wouldn't mind interviewing these guys because they're in Spokane. Yeah. I, every once in a while, um, look. <laughs> At buying one? Yeah. I would love to race in the King of the Hammers, but I think that's the, the best way to do it is to buy a used one. Oh, yeah. We we're gonna oh, walk. dude, this Jeep truck. Dude, the Miata with the, uh, the Stone Girl Miata. <laughs> <laughs> this is rad. The, uh, that 36 Chevy on my property. Yeah. I think it'd be fun to do a rat rod with mud tires with that truck. On that truck? Yeah. This mud truck is 10 bucks. Like, the nut and ferrule is 10 dollars. This is cool. I like the Jeep hubcaps on the, what, yeah. like, 20s. Dude, remember when I sent you the box van? Oh, for, I didn't build the same. I didn't build a SEMA truck with it. I, I think you could have got more creative. I believe I said slam it. Okay, okay. Yeah, dude, it could be cool. Dude, this Lincoln is sick. Oh, it is. These are so hard to bag because they're a unibody. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know. Need a motor if he's right home. Yeah, let's just put this one in there. Just a little small box. Compatible. Oh, oh. defeat out the FMX. Huh? Oh. Ask him. What do you have the bolts on FMX? Dude, like all the accessory brackets are. I mean, the control arms, dude. That work in dabbing this. I wonder if you can do this uh, with a machine now. I mean, because back in the day, like, like yeah, the Loretta Senio, everything was done hand. I mean, you'd have you could see and see it. That's pretty cool. You're hardcore. And you have your blood type on your core. Yeah. Yeah. 
cheese. You know what it is? I know what it is? No. You know what it is? No. It's called a Bowler Wildcat. It's built on a Land Rover Defender chassis. Okay. It was built for the Dakar Rally. Dakar, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, So this, uh, is it 32 Ford? Okay. Yeah, 32 Ford. Yeah, this 32 Ford's got an old Cadillac motor. This Cadillac motor is the Cadillac motor that that Studebaker that we revived. That Studebaker engine is based off of this platform. Does they went into Cadillac's facility. They were allowed to go in there and check it out. And they built that motor basically with small Little small cylinders, uh, but pretty cool. I, I wonder if the uh, bell housing is the same, dude. Because then you can take a Studebaker motor and put a kind of like motor on it. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I still think it'd be cool to LS swap a Lark. Yeah, I think it'd be cool too. Evidence of wheeling. Fifty-one fifty. Yeah. This is so what my the, dude least bringing the rear. Yeah. My buddy's got. Oh, I did that uh, head gaskets on his Ranger. Yeah. This I was telling him we should build a free runner out of it for his kid. We just checked out uh, the outside real quick. A lot of rigs. We a lot of rigs. missed a few. Walking around for an hour and a half, checked out some drifting. Um, now we're heading over to the north lot. We're gonna stop by Napa, see if we can um, get some parts yeah. for the old free chero. The old free chero, free parts so, of the free chero. Yeah, and Oxido's over there. They hooked us up with some lights a while back that are awesome. So they we are. wanna stop by their booth and say thanks and see what they got new to offer this year. Yeah. Um, and GoPros over there, so oh, we'll yeah. check that out. Yeah. I like the triple roll bar vintage. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I kind of want to do that on like the back of the Bronco. Where yeah. The, the toolbox. So the toolbox sits inside this, and then the toolbox opens this way. So I want to have like the triple bar go over, and that'd be part of my roll cage. Yeah. You should get some big, thick bars for that too. It'll be expensive, but just like. Yeah, the extra, like, it's a big rig, I think. Well, and not necessarily because of the protection, just for the look. Of yeah. It, like, like, it's the old school Bigfoot look. Yeah. I do want, like, the big uh, KC with, like, daylight. Yeah. Outside. The daylighter uh, LEDs. Dude, there's another dense side. 
Dude, man with a mur mural. We got to do it someday. Guinevere. Yeah, I am playing Tavern. That's actually a cool name for a bar. <laughs> That's actually a pretty cool build. This, yeah. Like, it's clean. It's functional. Just need some rock sliders. This is sweet. I want to build one of these someday. What, the Jeeser? Yeah. It's a little cooler fire truck than the one I had. Yeah. Put a rooftop tent on your rooftop tent. I could do that. And then it just to have you your kid turn the rooftop tent sideways. Well, no, then you just your kid sleep in like zero gravity. Oh, strap them down before. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, look at the cam lock on it. Yeah. The Miller, but just didn't quite get the bill done. I love both things. Nine fourteen. Sixty eight to seventy two. I gotta figure out what it is. Uh sixty eight.
63 or newer. Six, five, or four. This is 64. I got a We found the Onyx off-road build challenge rigs. I've been really looking forward to checking these guys out. Uh, they're pretty rad. Here's bleeping Jeep's rig. Got it all decked out for Halloween. It's like Mad Max. They got a little bit of budget. So, uh, they uh, I like the little vice on it kind of a tiny one <laughs> it is small uh so they didn't really have a budget for their twenty thousand. Oh, did they get given twenty thousand? well i think most of them went over budget yeah yeah mischief maker <laughs> So who nice. won the factory portion of the build? This? <laughs> I mean, it's only, isn't it the yeah. only? I've always wanted to build a Liberty. If I get my hands on my parents' Liberty, yeah, 100% I'm building it and I don't care. Uh, it just, remember how fun it was working on that, your Cherokee? Yeah. <laughs> Watching this thing in the stock <laughs> was hilarious. Dude, he did got, a great job with the dude, paint. He, he's got money in his paint. I know. He does derbies. Does he? Yeah, so does Fabrats. Oh, nice. Oh, dude. They have a booth. They Fabrats does have a booth. Oh, okay. I Dude, these seats are sweet. <laughs> it's got bread in here. What? You got some bread in there? Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Rear winch. I, I haven't watched the wheeling videos yet on the challenge part, but it definitely... Uh, you got some damage. Yeah. I've watched the entire build on this one. Oh, yeah? Because I watched like oh, all, you, yeah. all of Fab Rat stuff.
All right, day one at SEMA was awesome. Yeah, uh, it was. What, oh, was your, what was your favorite car you saw today? Favorite car, dang. There was a few, I mean, at least three. I saw at least three cars today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many. I, for some reason today, I'm really loving the 69 to 72 Chevys that are slammed. Yeah, and uh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, and they're so clean. The, the build quality is top notch. Notch, yeah. Um, the bro dozers not my thing but i can appreciate the time and effort it takes to build a yeah. truck like that there's every little detail it's yeah. pretty crazy i've always been kind of anti bro dozer but i've also also been very pro like the lowrider community and i was kind of thinking about it I'm like it's just kind of the same thing they over engineer their parts they do a lot of detail work a lot of like intricate we're on a low rider to do the intricate uh, hand engraving and on the bro dozers, it's the um, control arms that are plated and with all the extra cutouts and stuff. It's it's kind of the same build, just with a different platform. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, having a ton of fun. Uh, we're hoping to get you a lot more content of the week. We're gonna try to do some interviews throughout the week and uh, maybe like, I don't know, our favorite four wheel drives, our favorite custom cars, so yeah. on and so forth. Yeah. Um, but it's been a ton of fun. Great experience so far. Yes, it is. It's been amazing. It's we uh, I've walked 25,000 steps today and we are on three hours of sleep after rolling in <laughs> last night at 2.30 in the morning. So yeah. it has been a blast. We're going to go listen to some music and um, network with a couple guys that we met down here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. Until next time. See ya.